Hey everyone, in this video we'll be showing you how to use Miracast, which is a pretty cool technology available for Toyota vehicles from 2017 onwards. Now, uh, with this, there are a few things you need to know before getting started. Firstly, it's not compatible with all smartphones. If you have an Apple phone or a Google Pixel phone, it won't work, but if you've got a Samsung, it's got a good chance. It does copy whatever's on the screen, but things like Netflix do have built-in restrictions on around this. Playback is controlled from the smartphone, not the audio unit, and you can only watch videos when the car is stopped or parked. So to get started, go into the audio source menu and select source. And from there, you'll see the Miracast button. It'll then start to look for a Miracast device, uh, i.e. your smartphone. So here you'll need to grab your phone, go into the settings and look for screen mirroring uh, options or wireless display or casting. In this case, I've used the drop down menu and I've got one there called Screencast and shows all the list of potential devices I can connect to, one being car multimedia, and you can see it's listed as a wireless display. Now that name depends on what you've called your audio unit, that's the default, so I'll just click on that. Then accept the connection uh, prompt on the audio unit. From there, it'll connect to the smartphone and show whatever's on the screen. So in this case, I'm using YouTube, which works pretty well. And you'll also see that it copies the orientation of the phone. So if I've got it in landscape, it shows as landscape or widescreen view quite nicely. And if I flip the phone or make it portrait mode, it'll also go portrait mode as well. So there you have it, that's uh, using Miracast with Toyota vehicles from around 2017 onwards. Thanks for watching.